Most of us know what happened in November of 1963 when John F. Kennedy was assassinated. What a lot of people might not remember is what happened to Lee Harvey Oswald after he was brought into the Dallas Police Headquarters. He was shot by a man named Jack Ruby while he was in police custody, and this is the ambulance that they were unloading him from, which they think he may have been passed away by the time they unloaded him. This ambulance does still exist, and we're going to go look at it right now. Now welcome back to the Historic Auto Attractions Museum here in Northern Illinois. This is the original O'Neill ambulance that carried Lee Harvey Oswald to Parkland Hospital, the same hospital where John F. Kennedy was pronounced dead just days earlier. And Lee Harvey Oswald was taken to Parkland after he was shot while in police custody by Jack Ruby. Now Jack Ruby was a Dallas nightclub owner and he was he was a bright colorful character and we're actually going to go see his gravesite after we leave here briefly. But this is the actual ambulance that I mean history happened right here. This is where they loaded Lee Harvey Oswald after he was shot and they were trying to save his life while in the back of this ambulance. And there really isn't a whole lot of space in here, but they were trying to they were trying to save him. And it's just cool that things like this still exist. But right in here, I mean, this is in every history book, and you can see this live and in person here. Now, the gurney is not original, but everything else in here is. But this is very possibly where Lee Harvey Oswald drew his final breaths before being taken, taken to Parkland Hospital. This is just absolutely phenomenal to be able to see this. This is really cool. Now, if you haven't seen yet, I have done a quick tour on this museum, and I am going to come back and do a much more comprehensive one with uh, interviews with the owner and the curator of this museum. This place is just massive. Now this is the famous photograph of Jack Ruby shooting Lee Harvey Oswald at the exact minute that the shot was fired. And it's a pretty famous photograph and it's pretty neat to preserve that spot in history. This is the mug shot taken of Jack Ruby after the fact. And now I'm going to take you to see Jack Ruby's gravesite. Now this is Westlawn Cemetery in Norridge, Illinois. And this is where the grave of Jack Ruby is. Now, just a few years later, Jack Ruby passed away in January of 1967 from cancer at Parkland Hospital, the same place that JFK passed away, and Lee Harvey Oswald. That's all I have for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.